Cowboys win 30-7 to over the Cincinnati Bengals. An impressive showing for this team in terms of what we've seen in recent weeks. The, bank, the Cowboys defense, by a wide margin, by the way, had its best showing of the season. I thought that defense had, after watching them struggle game after game after game after game, they bounce back in a big-time way. So with the win in hand, a 30-7 to win, as we'll break this down more in depth, I want you guys to give me your one-word reaction to this game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. The Cowboys came out on top. I know some of you are upset because you wanted the Cowboys to lose, and I do understand that because in the long run, you can make a good argument that this might be the best path for this Dallas Cowboys team. But in the end... You know, I think that's okay to win games. You're, you're not going to win very many of these down the stretch. So to get a win, I think, is nice for this organization. That, that is helpful for them when it's all said and done. So the Cowboys come out on top. Give me your one-word reaction in the comments section. Let's talk revenge game now for the Cowboys. That indeed was one Andy Dalton. He put together a not perfect but a pretty solid showing nonetheless. I, I don't think he had his, his best performance in the end. There were definitely some missed opportunities that Dalton had out there. He finishes this game, by the way, uh, 16 of 23. He throws for two, 185 yards, two touchdowns on top of that. So Dalton, was he perfect? No, he certainly was not. But I thought he had one of his better games of the season because Dalton has been a little... A little inconsistent. Now, I do want to point out one play in particular uh, in which Dalton had a better opportunity. Amari Cooper on a double move, and he just didn't take advantage of it. It would have been nice to have seen Dalton try to press that shot down. But now it was a completion. It went to C.D. Lamb. It's tough to complain that much about it when it's all said and done. But I do think if, if you're the Cowboys, you're open for a little bit more out of Dalton. It's tough to complain too much. 30-7, to seven, of course, was the final score in this one. Um, you know, things went pretty well overall for the Cowboys and, 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 and for the offense. The ground game was nothing special, but it worked out pretty decently overall. But Dalton was steady, and I think this was the type of game that this is what you were hoping to get out of Andy Dalton when you signed him. He's not the best player on this team. We simply have to accept that. He is not going to be the awesome elite quarterback, who needs Dak Prescott type of guy that some people out there wanted to say. But I thought he played pretty well. And that's good enough for the Cowboys. They got the win. That's steady enough for him. So who do you think was the MVP in this game? Maybe give it to Dalton. He's the quarterback. He played against his old team. Give him the game ball, so to speak. I think the entire defense might end up having a very good argument for that one because they completely shut down the Bengals' everything in this game. So let me know in the comments. In fact, I'm going to make this question the pinned comment on today's video. Who was the MVP for Dallas against the Bengals? Let's go now to some defensive talk. Now, there was the report before the game from Ian Rappaport that said, hey, that you know, oh, Mike Nolan's in trouble. You know, the, the full expectation is that, uh, is that Mike McCarthy comes back, but they might make some changes elsewhere. And Mike Nolan is the obvious candidate there to potentially be moved on from and fired. And the defense has been bad this year. It was at least nice and reassuring a little bit to see the Dallas Cowboys put together their best defensive performance of the season. Now, I do want to throw in one big butt here. The, Cow the Bengals are terrible. They don't have Joe Burrow. Their offensive line is worse than the Dallas Cowboys. They're bad. Brandon Allen was okay. Ryan Finley was terrible once he got put in the game. Couldn't handle any type of pressure. They didn't run the ball very well. More importantly, the Cowboys forced three critical takeaways. And I think that was arguably the most important part of this game for the Dallas Cowboys. To get those takeaways, that's the reason they won this game. I think that matters for them in the end. But of course, this is a, this is a bad football team. So what I want to know from you guys right now is do you still want to move on and fire Mike Nolan. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section here. If you want to fire Mike Nolan, I want you guys to type in FN in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want to move on from Mike Nolan? If, if that's the case, 
I want everyone watching live right now. We're watching on demand after, after the show uh, gets posted here. Type in your FN in the comments section. So I am still down to move on from Mike Nolan. I do feel better that the Cowboys had a little bit more success today, moving the ball downfield and all of that, and, and the defense stepping up a lot better than I did previously. But you know what? That doesn't mean this is a good team. So I still want to move on from Mike Nolan. I feel better about this game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Also, I have a deal available for you guys for the rest of the day. If you are a new BetUS customer, head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use the promo code that you see on screen right now. That is Cowboys125. You go there, that will get you a 125% deposit bonus. And for today only, a Dak Prescott jersey as well. If you want that, you got to email us, cowboys at chatsports.com. That is cowboys at chatsports.com. Go check out that email today. Just email us if you have questions or anything. We'll take care of you. Again, it is only available for new BetUS customers. So if you haven't already, you got to do it quickly here. Go check that out. Again, it's chatsports.com slash bet. The promo code is cowboys125. If you want to get in on that deal, then email us, cowboys at chatsports.com. Com. I do want to look ahead a little bit right now to where things currently sit for the Dallas Cowboys in terms of the playoff picture. The Cowboys are 4-9. Obviously, the Giants are not technically losing or have lost, but they're going to lose to the Cardinals. That game's in reality over. It's like a three-score game, as you said, you're filming this. Washington holds that divisionally then at 5-7 and seven, with a, a advantage over Dallas for winning the head-to-head, -head, sweeping the head-to-head. So the Cowboys, hypothetically, when we sit down tomorrow, could be a game back. They're not really a game back, though. The, this team, in reality, they're not going to do it. They are not going to find a way to win the NFC East. I know some of you are holding out hope. It's done. It's not going to happen. You're cooked. It's simply not going to be the case. Because the rest of the way, your schedule is not overly difficult. You've got the Niners. You've got the Eagles. And you've got the Giants. Maybe you win a game or even somehow you get lucky and win two of those. I think that's pretty darn unlikely. I think what's a lot more likely is you lose out and you finish 4-12 this year. And you might end up with a top five pick. Now this game for the Jaguars, by the way, assumes a loss. They're also getting blown out, so it's a pretty safe assumption there. Jets and Jags, you got, three, you got four wins now. You're not going to catch them. The Bengals at 2-10-1. You're not going to be able to catch those either. So in reality, you're not getting a top three pick. Now, the Chargers might help you out enough that you can get back to that four spot. I kept five out because the Cowboys were five. There's a lot of other games going on. So we'll check in again on Monday and see exactly where the Cowboys currently sit in terms of the, the draft order. But in the end, they're going to have a high draft pick. They're not going to win the, the division. It's time to embrace the tank. So... What do you guys want the Cowboys to do? As I said before today's game, I thought this was a type of game that the Cowboys would be able to win. I thought this would be a matchup that would favor Dallas and allow them to have a little bit more success than what we've seen as of late. I think I think that made sense, that this was going to be a game in which Dallas was able to win. The Bengals are bad. They're a bad football team. But of course I want a tank in the end. I'm not surprised Dallas won because as much as we might want it, doesn't mean that the players in code are trying to lose. Because if the Cowboys had lost to the Bengals, I'd probably be voicing a lot of concerns about Mike McCarthy. Now I feel at least a little bit ba better about it. So get your votes in here. W for win or T for tank. I am very much right now on the side of Team Tank. Now if you guys want to be updated on everything going on around the Dallas Cowboys, all you guys got to do is hit that big red button and subscribe. That way you don't miss out on anything going on around America's team. That includes all the latest news, the, the rumors, the draft talk we're going to have a lot of as we move forward. If you want to join the number one Cowboys YouTube channel out there, hit that big red button and subscribe today. So keep that in mind. It's simple. It's free. All you guys got to do is go hit that big red button right now. Let's talk now about the offense, the ground game, to wrap things up here. Tony Pollard got himself a little bit more involved in today's showing. He had 11 carries for 39 yards, plus, of course, had that receiving touchdown as well, which I, I know meant a, a decent amount for him and everyone else. 
Uh, he had a long of 17 in this one, the 39 yards. Also chipped in in the end in terms of the passing game. Two catches, nine yards, one touchdown. If you manage to play Zeke Elliott in, or play Pollard in your fantasy league, good luck. I played Zeke Elliott this week, and I am once again disappointed. Now, I thought Zeke played better. And in the end, I feel very confident saying that the Dallas Cowboys just found a way to limit him a little bit more. He was coming off the hamstring injury. He was coming off the the, the the calf issue as well. I think what ended up happening here is the Cowboys were like, look, man, we got to be cautious with our star player. We, we, we have to sit him. We don't want to overwork him in a meaningless game in the end. I thought that was the right decision in the end for the Cowboys. And you know what? From the coaching staff's perspective, it ended up working. The Cowboys found a way to win this one. 30 to 7. They come out on top. The Bengals offense was a disaster. Three fumbles early on. In the end, I thought that was about what the Cowboys wanted to do. So I, I will give the Cowboys credit for that one. They come out on top 32 7.